Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my favorite beauty products for the month of September. So if you want to see what I've really been using this month and what has prevailed in all of the recent makeup launches, then just keep watching. <laughs> Hi guys, if you are new here, my name is Morgan. I fancy myself to be a product knowledge enthusiast. I just love knowing anything and everything that comes out in the makeup market and sharing my thoughts with you guys. And today I'm sharing with you what I've really weeded out from the recent releases and what I've just been truly using this month. And I had a really hard time, harder than usual, I feel like, because I mean, this was the first full month of work and teaching online. I really wasn't wearing makeup except on the days that I was filming. So there really wasn't many products that I found myself continually using. So as I was going through all of the previous reviews I did this month, I realized there were so many great products that I wish I could put on my favorites. Like I really like the Huda Beauty palettes. I really like the Charlotte Tilbury palette, but I've only used them like once and those aren't favorites. So these are the items that whenever I was filming, I found myself grabbing for to wear these items in my video because I really like them. <laughs> Let's get started. First, I want to start out with my channel of the month. I know I'm always so annoyed and I tell you how busy I am but you guys know if you know a teacher it's it's a lot of work <laughs> a lot of hours I haven't been watching as much YouTube as I would like but a channel that I found myself constantly going back to watching is Annette's makeup quarter she covers basically I feel like all of the eyeshadow palettes and she really has a t different take than I do which is why I like watching her videos she goes for color she loves colorful palettes she doesn't hold back with her feelings on palettes and I feel like her and I have different techniques we have different eyeshadow shapes and different tastes in makeup all together but that is so intriguing to me I love hearing people's opinions on makeup that have different preferences than I do she really does a lot of indie brands as well and you guys know I'm not an indie brand expert so I love watching her and Amy loves makeup for my indie brand kind of news so I've definitely been watching a lot of Annette's makeup corner for those indie palette reviews so if you guys aren't subscribed to her make sure you go ahead and do it especially if you're into palette reviews and for me me it's the indie palettes but she doesn't just do indie palettes and she does really cool different looks and I don't know it's just a different channel than mine that I really have been enjoying watching I'm really sad this month I haven't had any real fashion favorites or jewelry favorites because I've been wearing the same thing every day I feel like for teaching and same thing with jewelry I've gotten a few questions about when I'm gonna open my Etsy shop for the jewelry that I make that I've been wearing in my videos like I made this one too I just ordered a lot of materials I've been spending Spending the last few months testing the materials and seeing what I like the most and what I would sell to you guys you know I don't want to give you horrible products so I've been really testing different materials and I just made a bulk order of stuff that I feel really good about so hopefully soon I will definitely keep you guys updated on that all right let's get into the beauty products so let's start off with tools I picked up the BK Beauty and Brit Clark brush set BK Beauty is a brush brand that I've been wanting to try out for a while but quite honestly you guys I just own so many brushes that it's overwhelming I don't need any more brushes but when Brit came out with the set I knew I had to pick it up unfortunately I don't believe this set is available anymore but I do want to give my thumbs up to the BK brand in general I love the quality of these brushes they are synthetic brushes and they are so soft and I've been using these non-stop the eyeshadow brushes in particular and then I also really have been loving the 104 brush but if you're looking for some nice synthetic brushes that feel like a natural brush I highly recommend these brushes they are very good very sturdy very great quality I'm considering just buying the whole set and throwing out all of my old brushes in my makeup kit and throwing these in my makeup kit because I love them they are so good speaking of brushes I know you guys have probably seen it but October 12th refer is putting their main core collection for a big sale in their concept store. So I'm gonna put the link down for that for you guys because I did use some of their brushes from that set in this video. And it's just a really great set. So if you want my email for that, definitely go check it out. I'll put it in my community tab too because it is one of my most used brush sets also. So obviously I've known about Refer for a while, but BK has been a really awesome brand that I got to play with this month and have been using nonstop. I've spent a lot of time this month really testing the rare 
beauty products. I just really wanted to give the brand as a whole a lot of experimentation. So I have collected my full thoughts on the brand. And one of the items that I found myself continually reaching for, if you read all of the descriptions of my previous videos, this foundation keeps coming up. I keep grabbing for it. So obviously it's the Rare Beauty foundation. I wear the shade 210N. And while this foundation, I wouldn't say it's one of my favorite foundations in the world. It's a great everyday foundation. I just love grabbing for it. I think why I like it so much is I like just being able to paint it on my face. I think it blends out super easy. It feels like I'm wearing nothing. As I said before, it's not my favorite foundation in the world. I don't think, you know, it gives the best amount of coverage, the smoothest finish. It doesn't cover my pores or anything like that, but it's just so comfortable and lightweight and quick to use on the skin. So I've been grabbing for this a lot this month, pretty much every day that I wear makeup. So I thought that this deserved to be talked about because it's one of the products that I've worn the most from the brand. Let's talk about eyebrows. I forgot eyebrows. <laughs> so I have two eyebrow products that I have been using and abusing this month. The first one is the e.l.f. Instant Lift Brow Pencil. I originally tried this because I picked it out for a sponsored video that I did with e.l.f. So this was gifted to me, but it's like three bucks and it is an awesome eyebrow pencil. What I really like about it is the color. I feel like it's the best color for me on everyday natural brow days. And I feel like every time I use this brow pencil, I always get compliments on how nice my brows look. I feel like it blends out perfectly. It doesn't deposit too much color to where it's too thick and creamy and dark on my eyebrows. That's how I feel about the Rare Beauty eyebrow pencil. I do not like that one. I love this e.l.f. instant brow pencil. It has a spoolie on one end. It has the tip here on the other end. The only thing that I do wish is that this tip was a little bit thinner. It is thicker than what I'm used to and especially now that I've worn it down, it's not as pointy anymore. I wish it was a little bit more pointy because I do feel like I've lost a little bit of that control element. But for three bucks, I really have been loving this. I've been grabbing for it every single time and I've been liking the way that this has made my brows look even more than when I use like my Benefit or my ABH. So I just think I like that it's not as thin anymore because it's just so quick to throw on. Okay, so I have a, another eyebrow product that I've been really enjoying, and this is from Grande Cosmetics, and this is the Grande Brow Fill with Brow Boosting Peptides and Fibers. So Grande reached out to me and they asked if they could send me some gifts, so I picked out some things from the website, and this was one of the items. It's definitely a standout product in their collection, in my opinion. So I have mine in the shade Dark, and it's just a normal tinted brow gel. I used to use brow products like this every single day when I taught at a school and not in my house and I really love this one. I feel like it really does add fibers to my brows which makes my eyebrows look thicker but it also puts a nice hold into my brows but it's not super hard of a hold. It just makes the brows look thicker and makes them easier to control but it's still a soft feeling. It doesn't make your eyebrows feel like they could break because they're so hard. It still leaves the brows feeling natural while still giving the shape and thickness. So this is my new favorite brow gel. I think it is a amazing and I highly recommend you look into this and I believe it has some ingredients in it that help speed up the growth of your eyebrows. So that's always nice. Let's move into some other eye products while we're at it. First, let's talk about the eyeshadow palette that I'm wearing in today's video. And this is the Odin's Eye Alba 2 eyeshadow palette. I have just been head over heels for this palette. I knew I was going to like it, but I didn't know how much I was gonna like it. I really just feel so inspired by this palette and I feel like there's so much versatility to it. So today, for the look that I'm wearing, I used Apricot on the inner half of my eyelid at my crease and I believe blended that all over. And then I took some of Orange Bon Bon and I used that as my outer lid and outer corner color. So this is the first half of my lid and the second half of my lid and I just blended that all out to get a really nice warm fall look. I then took some of Coffee, which is this dark brown shade, and I blended it along my lower lash line to just define my eye overall. And then I also used it as a thick shadow liner as well. And then I finished up with some of Pop Rock on my eyelid. I did use a glitter glue because you guys have told me too many horror stories when it comes to pressed glitters. And so I don't use pressed glitters that often because I am scared. But with a little bit of glitter glue, I just wanted a little bit something today for this look. And I really, really love it. Overall, I just really enjoy the quality of this palette and the layout of the colors as well. I love the different dimensions that you get. I will say there are some shades that I do believe are kind of hit or miss or harder to work with. But like 90% 
of this palette is really awesome. I think it's a good price for what it is. And I just really love this rainbow palette. And I never thought I would say that, but I've been grabbing for this. I've been feeling inspired by this. And I just think it's so cute. And I love all of the looks that I've created with it. So I had to put this in this month's favorites. And how could I forget? Of course, the Natasha Denona Glam Palette is also a favorite of mine this month. You probably don't, aren't able to tell right now because right now I'm in fall vibes. So I've really been enjoying more of the fall looks to just get me into the season. But normally I do feel more comfortable when it comes to cooler colors. And Natasha Denona released this cool toned baby and I am in love with this. I just, ugh, this is me in a palette. I feel like I get so many amazing glam looks with this palette, so many amazing smoky looks. I love the shimmers. I feel like they look so glamorous and shiny on the eyelid and I haven't been grabbing for this as much as I would like just because I haven't been wearing as much makeup but I continually want to grab for it so I know I need to try different items so I will grab for other items over this one but if I did not have a YouTube channel this would be my go-to everyday use every single day palette so I've been loving this I still think it is the great palette that I said it was in my review and I just wanted to update you guys it's still amazing a few months ago Ardell sent me a big box of a lot of their different lashes so I've been trying out different Ardell lashes and lately I've really been grabbing for the Ardell Double Up Double Wispies. So they're thicker than the normal wispy lashes, which I really like. And I'm wearing them on my eyes right now and they're a little bit grody. I'm going to throw them away after this because I've been wearing them so many times. But I really like the length on these. I like how thick they are, but they're still natural as well. <laughs> I mean, it depends if you wear false lashes or not, but to me, these are a nice natural lash. I'm not wearing any like black eyeliner and they still look really good along the lash line. And this has just been a great everyday lash for me that I find myself wearing a lot on camera as well. They are in a dramatic lash. I love a dramatic lash with a dramatic look, but I've been going for these more wearable kind of looks lately and these lashes have been perfect. So I wanted to share that. I've been loving this lash this month lately. I have a couple face products as well. So we'll start off with the new Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Sculpture Palette. So this is the new Hourglass Palette that came out with this holiday collection. I did a full review and everything for you guys and I really have been enjoying this. While I will say it's not my favorite palette that they've come out with, every year when they come out with a new one I still love it regardless because I really do enjoy just the quality of the formulas. Right now I'm wearing just the blush and bronzer but this is just a great palette to grab for every day when you don't want to think about how to pair your face powders together. This is a really great way to have it laid out and they blend like butter on the face. They give you the most stunning glow and Hourglass products honestly are my favorite when it comes to powder face products. This has been very easy for me to grab for. And like I said, not my favorite color combo that they've come out with, but it's still so good. <laughs> let's move over to highlights. And I think taking a look at everything, this is probably the item I was most shocked by. So it makes it that much more special for me and that much more exciting for me to talk about but I've really been enjoying the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Superstar Glow Highlighter and they came out with one last year and I passed on it because I was like I'm not spending $55 on a highlighter and I honestly expected to say that in my review but I cannot put this highlighter down you guys. I never wanted to be the person to tell you that you need a $55 highlighter and I'm not gonna tell you that but I want you to read my eyes. Take that as you will, but this is the highlight that I'm wearing today. Everything about it is perfection. This one is one of my new favorite highlighters and I did just upload a luxury highlight ranking and a lot of you guys were asking about this one. I filmed that weeks ago, so I actually didn't own this highlighter and I will say this highlighter is at least ranking in at number three, but it's probably higher than that. I cannot put this highlighter down. The texture of it's rich, but it doesn't really emphasize texture. And it's just the most perfect blinding glow from within, if that's even possible. And it looks so good on so many different skin tones. I've seen so many different ranges trying on this highlight and it just looks scrumptious on everyone. It is available now. Not gonna tell you need it. Nobody needs a $55 highlighter, but it's real good. All right, you guys. So I'm gonna finish off with the last product, which is for lips. And I think this is another favorite of mine from the Rare Beauty line that I've been enjoying. And I think 
part of it is just because I love the color that this is but these are the matte lip cream and they're not going to give you a super opaque defined lip like a normal liquid lipstick these are going to give you more of almost a blotted appearance like I really did have to build up this color right here but for every day if I'm not wearing glitter on my eyes and lashes <laughs> I actually just like tapping this in as a quick everyday color I think they're really great for the mask situation <laughs> right now because they are a little bit lighter when you just pat them out and they just give you a little bit of a stain to the lip which I think is what we need if you're wearing makeup underneath your mask so this has been a formula that I've been grabbing for as far as just putting some color on my face without having to worry about it smearing all over my mask so I'm wearing the shade brave which is the shade I most recommend because I just think it's one of my favorites for this time of year it's a beautiful orange but I also really do enjoy the other shade I got which is courage and this is like a purpley mauvey kind of shade this is my everyday type of shade out. I always find myself going for lipsticks like this, but seasonally, I love this one, but for every day, I love Courage, and this is just a lip formula that's been really fantastic. I will say, though, another item from the Rare Beauty line that I really love is the liquid blushes. It's just a lot of cheap products have come out, so I haven't really used them that much, but those also are very nice. So that is all I have in the way of favorite products right now. Like I said, haven't really been doing much with my life pertaining to worrying about the way that I look so I don't have that many cool favorites with you guys I've been watching Love Island US I know that ended I made it about halfway through but I couldn't wait I needed to know who won and so once I figured that out I stopped watching I don't know I feel like my days have been wake up teach film a video edit it go to bed and that's all I've been doing every day no time for free time so I'm sorry if this one was a boring favorites video but that is all I have for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed it if you aren't subscribed to my channel already I would absolutely love it if you would consider taking the time to do so and I will see you guys in the next one bye guys have a good one